in December, me and my husband decided to take a trip to Amsterdam. We spent three days there and because I used to live in Amsterdam, we didn't really have to do any of the very touristic stuff. So we just had the time to do whatever we wanted. And on the first day, we went to the food Holland to have some lunch. And after that, we made our way through the city to the Rijksmuseum. It is the National Museum of the Netherlands and it holds a lot of Dutch you know artworks and history and we spent a good amount of time there <laughs> um, these are some of my favorite artworks and paintings that I saw there they also have this beautiful beautiful old library in the evening we went to have dinner at a friend's house i didn't really film this but the next day we had breakfast at dignita which was so so good i highly recommend that you go there we had this for breakfast and then didn't eat until like seven <laughs> that's how good and filling it was after that, I wanted to visit as many bookstores as we could, starting off with the American Book Center. This is my favorite bookstore ever, and it is beautiful, it's really big, it has three floors and a lot of different sections. They have a whole, you know, wall of romance books, sci-fi and fantasy as its own floor. And just the vibe of this place is amazing. It also has a tree inside that I didn't film. Then we went to Waterstones, which is basically across the street. <laughs> um, so it's like, if you do one, you have to do the other. And this store is actually bigger than I thought. I think this has four floors, but in the past I had only been in the first and second floor, which I don't, I don't understand. They have a young adult LGBTQ plus shelf, which I think is really, really cool. And they also had this nice little reading nook that looks out on the shopping street. Next up is the Book Exchange, which is a used English bookstore, so only secondhand books can be bought here. And they have stacks upon stacks upon stacks of books. <laughs> it's huge. Here, just like in American Book Center, they have a full floor dedicated only to science fiction and fantasy. The next bookstore that we did is the old English bookstore, although I have to admit that it didn't really look old at all. I think this was the most disappointing bookstore out of all of them. They didn't really have a lot of books and not a lot of popular books either. So we decided to get some croquettes at the mur at the dump before we went on to the next bookstore, <laughs> which is Scheltema. Uh, Bookhandel Scheltema was one that for some reason I didn't know. It is five floors and it is a mix of English and Dutch books, uh, but they also have Italian, Spanish, German, French books. Not a lot, but you know, a few. And I think this one was probably the prettiest. They also had this huge display for Colleen Hoover. I've never read any of her books, but it was pretty cool. Then we went to Coq Antiquariat, which is actually not really a bookstore, but just like an antique shop with loads of books and prints and stuff. And it was also really nice to look at all of those beautiful old things. Then we also passed this yarn store, which was really cool. I also crochet, so it was nice, but I didn't buy anything because it was too expensive for me. <laughs> and then at last we went to the library, actually, just to sit around and read. We had walked around enough, you know, we had seen enough bookstores and we had a reservation at a restaurant at, I think, seven. So to kind of pass the time, we just decided to go and hang out with the books and read some of the books that we got that day <laughs> just 
waiting for our dinner reservation and it was actually the perfect way to wind down the vegan sushi bar where we went to was so good it was honestly the best sushi i have ever had perfect and then robert had an ice cream <laughs> On day three, we went to the Van Gogh Museum, which was amazing. We spent five hours inside. We mainly went to go and see the Pokemon collaboration. It was really nice, very pretty. I am a huge Pokemon fan, so it, this was perfect for me. I, for some reason, didn't expect the paintings to be actually paintings. I thought they were digital, but they're not. They're just like actually painted. I don't know why I was surprised about this but it made it so much better than I had imagined it. And honestly, I could, I could spend ages talking about these paintings and how cute they are and how well made. Anyway, we also went to go and see some of the other paintings. I had been to the Van Gogh Museum before, but they had significantly rearranged all of the paintings and I very much enjoyed being there. We read everything, we looked at paintings multiple times. It was just beautiful and I was reminded why Van Gogh is such a popular painter and why so many people love him. Like, I love his use of colors, I love just how joyous everything looks but then when you look a little bit closer it's also very sad and ah, it's just so so pretty so i'm glad we got to spend five hours there <laughs> i also used to have a poster of this painting in my dorm room when i was at university so it makes me feel all nostalgic and then we had dinner at Fijanis. It, this is a vegan restaurant just like the vegan sushi bar it was really good and afterwards we went home so that was a very short trip but it was very nice and i hope that you liked this video if you did i have a ton of other travel vlogs that you might want to see i think you would enjoy them so you can stick around for those see you in the next one bye